What's up, everybody? You rock the red here, uh, bringing you a special look at some of my favorite things that came out of the Gamescom convention this past weekend. Uh, Gamescom is one of the bigger uh, video game conventions uh, that takes place. Normally, it's in Germany. This year, it was all online due to the pandemic. Uh, tons of trailers, behind the scenes footage, extended gameplay from AAA titles down to the smallest uh, indie titles. So, um, I picked five of my favorite moments and uh, I'm going to show them to you now. First up, we have Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart for the PS5. This was an extended gameplay video that we were treated to on night one of Gamescom. Uh, got a chance to look at the, the amazing graphics that uh, were to be expected with the PS5 and uh, some of the, the features of this game, the rift shifting feature, which is a big part of it, where you can jump between like dimensions or something, and some of the cool uh, weapons that we're always uh, expecting from the Ratchet and Clank series. Uh, it was confirmed that this game is a launch window game for PS5. So again, who knows when that actually is? Um, speculation, uh, mid-November. But uh, yeah, we'll just have to wait and see. But yeah, check out this a uh, little bit of this footage get an idea of what to expect with uh, Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart. Was that supposed to happen? I will never get used to that. The creative director, uh, Marcus Smith from Insomniac Games, he mentioned that this is all possible due to PlayStation 5's uh, new solid state drive. There's zero loading time, so they are able to create this um, game mechanic where you're just constantly switching uh, level types. Looks really cool. Next up, we got the trailer for Fall Guys Season 2. Uh, I did a separate piece solely on this video but i gotta mention it here i am hyped for it uh it's got medieval themes for the next one new levels new costumes uh, lots of uh, cool new stuff and this game is the game right now everybody's playing it everybody's loving it and uh you know everybody except me are winning it's coming though i'm feeling it i'm getting so close but yeah, no, no uh, release date on when this will be coming out. But as of this recording, there's still like 37 days left in season one. So expect it after that. Next up, we have a game called 12 Minutes by Annapurna Interactive. This game looks real cool. Great idea, star-studded cast. Uh, really bumps me out though, because it's only for Xbox and PC. And I'm a Sony guy, so uh, that kind of hurts. But this trailer, was really cool uh check it out i want you to think of a flower look at its contours its curves now i want you to imagine it changing moving backward returning to its bud think of that bud unopened look at it as a whole then silently repeat these phrases May you be free from suffering. May you be free from fear. May you know peace and joy. This next game I had to include in my showcase. It's such a cool idea. It's a game called Teardown. Uh, it's only for PC. Uh, set to come out sometime in 2020. No date. But... It's basically a game where all the environments are interactive, destructible, um, and you have to basically do a heist um, however you can. Uh, it's got this really cool like Minecraft voxel look to it. And just from this trailer, the, the playability seems to be endless on what you can or can't do in this game. I would love to see a feature added where you could create your own uh, it looks tailor-made for that uh, kind of Minecraft style, but, you know, the information that's out for this is still pretty slim, but it's one to keep an eye on.
Dragon Age to me is a wonderful world to play in. I am really excited about the future of Dragon Age. All right, and my last favorite thing to come out of Gamescom 2020, the announcement of Dragon Age 4 from Bioware. We knew that it was being created. Uh, we just didn't know when or how far along was it. Um, this shows us that they're really all in on this game right now. Dragon Age is such a fun series, and I'm super excited for it. Now, granted, this was all just concept art, uh, behind-the-scenes type stuff, so it is a ways away. Um, I mean, we're not even close, but just the idea that they're working on it, they're um, writing it, uh, recording voices, that sort of thing, uh, filled me with hope. So I'm very hyped for this one, but like I said, uh, it's ways out there. A couple of games that deserve a mention, uh, one being Speed Limit from Game Chuck Studios. This is retro style shooter, looks really cool. And the, the coolest part is that every two levels, the game completely changes genre. Uh, definitely worth a look. This one is out now actually on Steam and there is a demo available. Another game to pop up on my radar is this Endling Extinction is Forever from Hero Beat Studios. This game looks beautiful. Uh, you play as the last living fox and uh, you have to care for your fox cubs. It, it looks beautiful, heartbreaking. Um, and really creative in how that uh, you have to survive and, and find food and, and do all this stuff. Uh, definitely uh, one to keep an eye out. Release date 2021 uh, for Xbox One, Switch, PC, and PS4. Until one fateful day when a strange visitor wakes up one of your cops. how friggin' cute this thing is. Now I gotta get the game just to make sure that the Fox Cub is okay. And lastly, if you're a fan of hip hop, if you're a fan of endless runner style games, this game is for you. Aerial Knights Never Yield. hip-hop parkour uh, runner type game super stylish really cool looking uh, this game is scheduled to come out february 3rd 2021 for pc ps5 and xbox series x all right there you have it my favorite games from Gamescom 2020. Thanks for making it all the way to the end here. Uh, I had a lot of fun making this video, so uh, let me know in the comments what you thought. If you'd like more, um, we'll make it happen. All right, thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time.